Martha Corey's death, I have prepared a speech to share about her character in Salem. Although I didn't know her well, I will explain to you what she was known for in the village. Martha Corey is third wife of Gills Corey. In Salem Village, the couple had been known to be quite strange. They had a reputation for bickering at each other constantly, which was frowned upon in our society, but they did have good attendance at church. Martha was known to be a pious lady. She was a regular parishioner at the Salem Church, but was quick to take offense. Her outspoken personality was improper to the Puritan rules for women. Women should be silent, especially in church. Only if you are spoken to, then you can speak. Martha Corey was known to have read a lot. I know this because I overheard Mr. Corey talking about a certain situation one day at the Paris house. Not very long ago, I walked past the Paris house when I overheard Mr. Gills asking Reverend Hale a question about his wife reading strange books. Mr. Hale asked him what book she had been reading. Gills told him that he didn't exactly know because she hid the books. He also told Reverend Hale that she sits and reads these, these books in a corner. He added that her reading of these books made Gills mess up in prayer. I thought that was strange. I thought that was strange he was blaming her books for his prayer mistakes, considering Mr. Gills just started coming back to Salem Church. After hearing those words, I started to make my way home. I always passed the Corey's house before I reached mine. That night, when I passed near Martha's house, I saw a reading in the I saw her reading in the corner, just like what Mr. Gills had described. Other than her reading, Martha seemed like a pleasant enough woman. She encouraged Mr. Gills to come to church more, which was a blessing. I believe her Puritanism faith was a strong one to behold. But in the end, Martha Corey was accused of being a witch. It's hard to believe a woman like that was accused being of reading too much. The only thing I can say to this is she will be in a better place now and can read as much as she likes without persecution.